that how you're doing? I hope you're all doing well. So it should be no surprise to anyone at this point that I love Disney. And if you didn't know that, now you do. If you need to know anything about Disney, I'm your person. Now don't be mistaken, I am not a Disney adult. I like Disney. I love to go to Disney when I can, but I'm not a Disney adult. I'm just an adult that likes Disney. There's a difference. So on my last trip to Disney, I of course rode the Winnie the Pooh ride because why wouldn't I? And there was a little shop at the end of the ride, which is one of my favorite shops because it has a bunch of Winnie the Pooh stuff. Like I love Winnie the Pooh again. And I like to have a little browse around. I was in there mostly looking because Mariah just had a baby girl and I was looking for some like little baby things. And I stumbled across something at the bottom of the shelf, right around the corner from the ride. They had this little box here. And I'm like, oh, what's that? I don't really know what that is. Adult craft kit at Disney. This is unheard of. Not only that, they also had an adult coloring kit. I mean, it's cute, right? I don't have a lot of hope for those pencils, I'll be honest. But the fact they had this there is just like amazing to me because they never aim art supplies at adults. It's always at kids. And I feel like there's such a cool niche for this. And they obviously have like adult Disney coloring books at the parks that you can also buy everywhere else online. But I have never seen this. And honestly, these were only $24.99 each, which generally speaking for a craft kit is decent anyway, especially when it's Disney themed. Anyway, so today I thought it'd be a really fun idea to try out the adult craft kit and the adult coloring kit. So we're gonna check out, see how good this stuff is, and let's get started. Okay, so first up, let's check out the adult craft kit. It does tell you on the back, it's not like a mystery art kit or anything, but it's got washi tape, which is kind of cool, and then it has some like thread and a needle, so you make your own thread thing. So apparently this contains, actually you know what, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna open it and show you. So it has a little Velcro thing here. That is so cute! Look how this is set up! I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I genuinely thought this was just gonna be thrown into a box. Could do with a little bit less plastic, I will say. However, this is laid out so beautifully. Like, the presentation is very, very good. So obviously you have the thread, which you use on these things right here. I'm not too sure what the washi tape and the big Mickey face thing is for, but we'll open it up and have a look. So first up, this craft right here is a paper mache decor. And then obviously you have all of the washi tape here as well. So my guess is you decorate the Mickey face with washi tape. So you get 10 rolls of washi tape, which is pretty, <laughs> pretty decent, I will say. I mean, I can't speak for the quality of it yet. So you have all of this washi tape with different like Mickey themed stuff on it. And then you have this one too, which is really cool. And then next up we have the cross stitch. So obviously you have all of the thread and obviously you get the nice little box with it too, like high quality thick box. And then you have the little cross stitch. And, ooh, Oh, you actually get a few. Okay, so you get one Mickey head, but you get three luggage tags, which personally I'd rather have more Mickey heads, but I guess these would come in beneficial more so than the Mickey head. So these are made of like a cardboard, not wood. So they're quite thin, but also thick enough to use for the cross stitch. And then you also get six different kinds of thread. So you have pink, cream, teal, green, gray, and yellow. And then you also get a little plastic needle that you can thread through. I'm I'm actually really excited because I've seen things like this before, but I've never actually done it. And for $24.99, obviously it is upcharged. Like unbiased, if I was to obviously buy this, not Disney themed, I'd say this is probably like maybe $10, $15 max, but it is themed to be Disney. So obviously they are adding based on that too. I feel like the washi tape paper mache craft is a little bit meh. Like I would rather see some paints, but then again, what kind of paint quality you're gonna get for $25. And I feel like this is something that everyone can do versus if you got this and then you had like paint inside, people that aren't artists might be like, I don't really know what to do with that. So, I mean, hey, it's a fun craft, a bit of a weird craft, but it's a craft nonetheless. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think $25 is a reasonable price for Disney themed stuff? I do think it's good that you have 10 rolls of washi tape. And I say this because I just spent $10 on a pack of eight washi tapes from Scotch. They may have been a little thicker, but I don't know, they're pretty, they're pretty decently thick. Like they're not, you know, tiny or anything. So just based on the fact that you do have 
10 washi tapes. I'm gonna add on like five to seven dollars worth of value because they are Disney themed as well. You do get two different crafts as well, like it's not just one. And I don't know, I feel like I would personally price this more at about $15. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below how much you think this is worth. If you think $25 is a good price for this or if you think it's worth a lot, lot less, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And then I'm gonna try out the adult coloring kit. This, again, I don't know about those pencils. Like they're gonna be pretty cheap pencils, but again, it's $25. And there's some stickers. I'm not really sure why, but there we go. We have we have some stickers. So I did a quick Google search and initially I thought the whole paper mache and washi tape thing was a bit of a strange combination, but I just did a quick Google search and it looks like people actually do it. Like it seems like such a fun craft and activity to do. I'll be honest, I really wish this had directions because if you really are not someone that's overly creative, but you like creative things, you might find it a little bit difficult. Crap, what did I do? Oh, sh great, that's a great start. I remember my mum saying that my great grandma used to cross stitch and she'd be like, oh, when you turn it over the other side, it should look neat. But whenever I've cross stitched, I've clearly done something wrong because mine always just looks like a hot mess. And I'm guessing I can go through the same hole twice. Me and threading just don't go together at all, but it should be easier once this is a little shorter. I've even through this part twice. So hopefully a third time is okay as well. I expect I'll be upsetting a lot of cross stitches with what I'm doing right now. I don't know what's going on. Where's that come from? I'm very confused. Part of cross stitching is accidentally ripping the thing you're cross stitching off the table repeatedly until you finish it. There's a bit here now, I've missed. How'd I do that? I'm always amazed at anyone that can make dresses and clothes and do all this stuff. I feel like it's so complex. Ow, crap. And why is this, why is this one loose now? How did that happen? There we go. Okay, cool. Nope, did it again. Yeah, I really wish this had directions because it's easy enough, sure, to look up online, but I feel like it should at least include some just for people that maybe are on vacation, don't have internet access because they, I don't know, don't know how to use Wi-Fi. I don't know, you know what I mean. I definitely think I shouldn't be overlapping this as much as I am. I'm gonna have to watch that. I haven't done very much considering how long I've spent on this. Okay, so this is the front so far, and this is the back. Thread is really annoying to get into the eye of the needle. turned out that was painful to say the least but it was also quite enjoyable if I hadn't been doing it to a time constraint but yeah I've never actually done cross stitch on cardboard before so it was interesting but it was fun I think it looks quite cool I tried to do something clever with the pattern down here not sure if I pulled it off okay so let's get started on the Mickey paper mache with the washi tape I'm not too sure how good this is gonna actually look but we're gonna give it a try I'll be honest, it doesn't feel like it's very sticky. It is sticking to the paper mache, which is the main thing, but it doesn't feel like overly sticky washi tape. But then again, maybe I'm just used to that scotch tape that was just ripping my page apart. It seems to stick to the paper. Done a test strip right here, so I'll see if it starts to peel up. But at the moment, it's sticking pretty well. Okay, this is definitely Christmas themed. It has to be, because why is it red and green? There's like red stripes, and there's these things right here that they look like Christmas lights. It's definitely a holiday thing, because why would they include tags? This has got to be a gift thing for Christmas. Which I mean, I'm not complaining at, I'm just surprised. 
I'm gonna be honest, it feels like a bit of a waste of washi tape that could be used elsewhere. And I feel like this paper mache thing would look much cooler if I was painting something on it. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Is this a craft that you would do or have you done before or you'd ever think about doing? Because I genuinely have never thought about doing something like this before. It is quite therapeutic, I will say. I'm kind of taping the edges this way so that I can hold it all on. I'm nearly done mummifying my Mickey Mouse face. I just need to make sure I get the edges. Okay, this washi tape is probably some of the worst washi tape I've used because it keeps ripping as I'm trying to untape it. It's not sticking overly well, but it's also sticking enough for it to work. It just, it kind of rips like as I'm trying to pull it. Okay, so this is how I, well, let's move this stuff. This piece of washi tape did not come off, so that's a good sign. The best type of washi tape is the type of washi tape that's not too sticky, but also doesn't just completely come off because I've had both extremes. I've had extremes of washi tape that rips my page up, I've had washi tape that will not lie down and then it ruins my lines when I'm painting. But this was a fun craft. It took me about 25 minutes. It does keep sticking up. It doesn't like sticking to the other parts of the tape, but it stuck really well to the actual cardboard. I don't know the point. Then again, it would look kind of cool as a Christmas decoration maybe. If you were into DIY Christmas decorations, it might look quite nice. Overall thoughts on this box. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. I really think that you know, you have a decent amount of activities in here. You have, you know, four different ones for the cross stitch that you can all complete. You have plenty of yarn in order to complete them all. This was a fun little craft. You could even go further and paint the other side. So yeah, I would say three and a half out of five. Okay, so next up we have the adult coloring kit, which has a bunch of different things in it. I'm not sure what exactly other than pencils and pens, but we're gonna have a look. I actually really like that the outside is kind of like a coloring page in itself. So I'm guessing if you wanted to, you could also color the outside folder. So you have handmade with love. And then in this part you have, what is this? I'm a little bit confused. I don't really know what the point of that is, <laughs> but it looks like we do have some coloring pages, which is very nice. They are incredibly thin, like really thin, but they would be okay. I don't know if you could use markers on them if you wanted to, but what's up buttercup? Okay, so they are, you know, obviously they're Disney themed. I really like this one. That one's really nice too. You have a little Kermit. This one's really nice too. Tarzan. You really have a lot of option here, which is quite nice. Bambi. So you get six coloring pages. And I will say, this is the kind of thing I would have loved, especially as a teenager, going to Disney or being like, at the end of the day, you're kind of hot and you kind of just want to, I don't know, do something fun, something crafty. Sometimes it's really nice to do things on vacation. Like I can see someone going on vacation and like buying one of these and at the end of the day, kind of just relaxing in their hotel or their Airbnb, wherever they are, and just kind of sitting down and doing something like this. It would also be a really fun date night idea. Like you have something for everyone to do. And then next up you have these stickers, which again, I'm thinking go on these. I think this must be like a frame or something maybe to protect your coloring pages. That's my best guess. Or maybe like it's a gift for somebody. So you can just like plop it in there and stick some stickers on. So these are the little Mickey stickers. These are very high quality actually. They're quite thick, a little bit 3D. And then you have two pens right here. And obviously we'll be giving these a try in a minute to see how good they are. But these are like shaped like water pens that you use for watercolor, but they're regular markers, which is odd. I've never seen anything like that before, but I wanna, I wanna see, I have this old piece of paper here. Let's have a look. Ooh, pretty juicy. Okay. I mean, they're both exactly the same. So I'm not sure if they give you two because they don't last very long or if it's because it can be like a family project that you can do together. And then of course, last but not least, we have pencils, which again, I don't have high hopes for. Anytime you buy like a, a craft kit or a craft set, usually they're not gonna be very good. I will say, I don't know why this is aimed at adults specifically because kids could use this as well. Like obviously you have the more adult coloring page-esque style of coloring page. So I think that's where that comes into play. But yeah, it's fun. Would I say it's worth $25? No, 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 not $25. Maybe again, that like 10 to 15 mark. But again though, it is licensed to Disney. So obviously licensed products will always be more whether it's Disney or not. So let's get started using this and see what we come up with. It's weird because they give you these markers, but I'm not really sure what you need them for. Because if you're doing a coloring page that's already got black lines on it, why would would you need this? 
I think I'm gonna do the Bambi one for now. I guess we'll see what these pencils are like. I mean, they're not the greatest pencils in the world, but they're not horrific. They're kind of those sort of cheaper, drier type of pencils. We'll see how well they blend with each other. I mean, not, not very well. It's not aimed at professional artists, nor does it claim to be containing professional supplies. It's literally what it says on the box. It's a really cute set and it's fun if you want to give it a try on holiday or you find it. I would definitely say the other craft box though is better than this one. I feel like this one's a little bit of a letdown. It's not on really high quality paper either. So you would get better quality really out of like a coloring book. It just keeps breaking on me. No matter how sharp I make it, it always ends up with this annoying stubby little end. Okay, so I'm finishing this up now. I will say I'm kind of skipping out on very small details because no matter how sharp I make these pencils, they just crumble on me. So some of the small details I'm not being overly great with because it's kind of impossible with these pencils. Okay, so here's the page, very basically done. But I'm gonna try and see what these sleeves are for because I'm so confused. Okay, so you put this in here. Okay, I mean, it's kind of like a protective sleeve for like kids artwork. You could also write on here too. So I could just be like, oh, this is by me. Like it's a school project. Probably supposed to be like a frame that you can frame it. Okay, there we go. Um, not really an adult kit. I wouldn't say, but I mean, if you enjoy stuff like this, you can make a really cool pattern on the frame even with these markers, cause they are very good. So for your money's worth, you do get a lot of sort of time within those boxes. Like it's not just a five minute thing. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below which one you thought was better. Did you think the coloring kit was better or did you think the first art craft kit was better? Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know which kit was your favorite. Was it the adult coloring kit or was it the adult craft kit? I think I was definitely partial to the craft kit because I feel like there was more for my money's worth in that one. Plus I have an extra like 10 washi tapes to use now, which is very nice. So for some reason my audio decided to cut off, but basically I was saying thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.